Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Cincinnati Man. I'm back. Uh, talking about X Mid 97. Um, I will give it this. The little anime action scenes do look cool. That that's that's hey, I gave it a compliment. The little action scenes look cool. You know, they're they're overpowered for no reason. They're they're pretty ridiculous. Or you're like, why there's too much going on? But hey, it looks cool. Now let's get to why this is a piece of shit. Um Gambit, it's like the last episode, which I didn't mention, I'll mention here. Because of this episode, the whole time he's just sulking in the back, watching Magneto and, and Rogue, not saying anything. Man up, say something. Say something. Oh my goodness. Just have a conversation. I ain't saying you got to yell. I ain't saying you got to scream. I'm saying confront her on what's going on instead of. Mm, calm down. So, um, you know, he did nothing. He just he he was cut off at the knees. Rogue is toxic. There's people out there. Oh, I love Rogue. Rogue is so amazing. Hey, you Rogue fans, you like you like how toxic your girl is? What's up? What's up? You know, she gonna leave a man that's been by her side that she refused to be. She said she refused to be in a relationship with him. Go to a man that's a a, a terrorist, a mur. Hey, that's not like regular women. They want the bad boy. Dang, that is true. Yep. A lot of rogues out there. It's a lot of rogues out there. Anyway, and he tried to warn her. Gambit was like, "Look, it, just because you could touch him, don't don't mean don't mean that he has that feel for you." And she gonna have the nerve to look him in the face and be like, "You could touch everything and, and give it energy, but I can't feel your energy." No, she did. I was like, "You should have got Nightcrawler and and and, and said, yo, man, teleport me out of here." He said he gonna st- see it. He gonna stay at the party. Watch her come out in that gown. That gown it didn't make no sense. How you gonna be in that gown showing all that flesh? Yeah, Magneto. Magneto can touch you. Nobody else can. You better cover up, Goofy. And then he gonna try to. Then he gonna walk out. I ain't gonna lie. Game, game it ain't shit. I thought he was gonna hit on Madeline Pryor. Oh, speaking of Madeline Pryor, they even mentioned finally some timeline. It was like, oh, it's been a month when Scott got in an argument with Gene because Madeline Pryor and him was having a psychic conversations. Then they were flirting back and forth and stuff. Nobody, let me tell you this right now. Gene and Scott have always in the comics and, and television, they are everything, movies, they always had such a, a bond. There ain't no way in hell Madeline Pryor could just show up in the mind and they try to play it off. Like Wolverine was like, oh, y'all ain't been talking in y'all minds, have you? How he know? You sniff it out, Wolverine? How the hell he know they ain't talking like that? And, and Madeline Pryor joining the council automatically when she was a sinister clone and she was evil the whole time. No, not evil the whole time. She's evil for eight hours, and then she's redeemed instantly. And then a month later, she's part of the head, the government council. Get out of here! You don't you don't know nothing. To... <sighs> okay. Anybody who said that Cyclops is redeemed and Cyclops no Cyclops has always been a leader. Cyclops has always been somewhat of a dick, and Cyclops will always be undermined because he tries to follow the rules. Or, or or he asserts his authority. He's always going to be that guy. And as usual, they diss him. They diss him in this show. He's all unhinged. He the only one unhinged. Gene don't give a G, the real Gene don't give a damn about that baby and how he feel. The real Gene don't give a damn how mentally messed up he is because he he loved a clone and her. And he was honestly, I love both of y'all. How dare you love a piece of me? He's getting destroyed in this. And then he goes off uncharacteristic, like it's the human's fault. Um. No, it's Mister Sinister's fault. Uh, that that your baby's gone. It wasn't the human that did that. That's about as bad as when Siri blamed all of the world for uh black her for Chikala dying when it was Chikala's damn fault because he didn't tell nobody he needed help. Anyway, I'm gonna get me started on that. You can look that that review up on my channel. Um, Wakanda never shit. Um. Who else? Wolverine. Hey, y'all. Hey, y'all Wolverine fans. How y'all doing? Y'all like y'all new Wolverine? Don't do nothing. Just sits around moping. He ain't, he ain't, he ain't pulled his claws out in a minute. He, he in, in the last episode, he held he held uh, muffins. This episode, he did the, he stalked Gene, and then Gene kissed him. And he was like, no, you belong to Cyclops. You you better go to that boy, overgrown Boy Scout. And he sulks away like, she kissed me. It's like, oh wow, this is the hey, hey. How the mighty has fallen. Uh, you know this world that Charles Xavier left behind when he 
died it's doing pretty well for mutants except for you know the the un thing but other than that all are, are there any evil mutants in here i mean we saw okay okay we saw sinister but other than that are there any like like I mean, Mojo, Border, Mojo was in another another plane of existence. So I don't know if he's, I don't even know if they consider mutants, but it seems to be peaceful amongst the mutant mutant society ever since Xavier died. It's very odd. Um, and X Men don't do shit. It's ninety seven. It's it's years into the years into development of X Men. They ain't got no, they ain't got no more students. They ain't got, they ain't, they ain't going on missions. And you know they ain't doing nothing. They just they just on to themselves. It's just so weird. And nobody care. They, nobody care. To look for Storm. <laughs> we saw Storm get taken in, and nobody they, nobody look for him. Um, the last thing I'll say is Genosha's trash. It's this fake little hippie. You know what makes me mad? They made it into this hippie utopia, like peace and love, yay Genosha. And it was like, okay. Where's the where's y'all military? Look, y'all ain't got no military. Y'all ain't got no military. Y'all dang near don't don't really have a council. Y'all barely got a council. Um, when that mega sentinel attacks, ain't hey, no you this that this will piss me off. You are an island full of mutants. Even if y'all was gonna get slaughtered, they got slaughtered off camera. It was like, oh, the they tried to fight and then they all died, they all died confronting it. It's like there ain't no other mutants. You got people that can catch on fire. You got people that can spit spit acid. You got people that can teleport. You got people that probably can shoot laser beams out their asshole. They can't do nothing. Ain't nobody can do anything. Except for Rogue, Gambit, and Magneto. Stop. Y'all just, like, that was, that. So, that, that was so whack. Oh, the peace-loving mutants that couldn't really fight back. They all just died. It's too telegraphed. Oh, last thing I say, cable ain't shit. Turn the music off. Turn the music off. Get everybody out. How you buy? How you teleport outside the building where you got to run up the steps and everything? Then you get up there and you're like, Ma, you gotta cut the music. I'm so up. Oh, gotta go and you disappear. Cable ain't save shit. He ain't saved nobody. Yes, Cable, feel bad for what you did. You you time slid right when everybody's gonna die and didn't help nobody. That's a great intro for Cable. And I don't believe none of this stuff was like, yeah, time travel definitely coming because it was just, it was right in front of you. They're going to kill, they're going to kill all these people off. And then this happens, you know, but hey, you look cool. And it's in the comics. It's in the comics. Did it work in the comics? Guess what? Some people liked it probably. But for the majority of people, it did. And that's why they, anyway, don't get me started. And I don't get it. I'm gonna get it. All these mutants getting together, all these past evil mutants that didn't that, that I know damn well ain't redeemed. They just like, oh, we all together now. And Magneto all shocked. Y'all want me? Y'all want me to be the leader? You always a leader and an asshole. When I'm Cincinnati man, I'm out there it enough. Um, yeah, yeah. I ooh, you know it's bad. All these people that was hyped for it. I know some people. I know. I know some people like, man, what is this, these episodes are getting weird? Yeah, yeah. This shit sucks. Y'all have a good one.